nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 89 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. And it has been a while since we've taken a look at this Ruby Gem. Uh, I've populated the backlog with some uh, stuff that I want to uh, knock out. And uh, as noted at the bottom of this, our gem signing certificate is currently expired. So somebody who's trying to install this gem with medium security uh, would not be able to do so, and certainly not with highest security, because that cert is expired. This is the, the most urgent uh, item on our list of things to do here on a backlog, but it's going to be the last one we want to tackle before we do our patch releases to, um, to fix our various gem versions, because uh, the later, like, we want to have the cert expire later than otherwise. So if I started and did this today, uh, assuming I don't get through this entire backlog uh, tonight while I'm doing this, uh, then it would already, you'd lose some, some days off of the, uh, the gem signing cert. So that'll be the last thing we do before we do our releases. Uh, the first thing we're going to do before we, uh, in this backlog list is to add Ruby 3.2 to the build and test it with, uh, test the gem versions with that. So that's going to be the first thing we did. The last video we did was actually over a year ago when we added Ruby 3.1 to the build and tested it with the gem versions. Uh, in that video, we updated the bundle as part of the update to 3.2. And I think I'm going to, uh, unless the build fails with 3.2 and didn't fail with 3.1. Uh, I'm going to save that for a different uh, item here in the backlog uh, because I'm going to be applying some changes to how we do RuboCop. So it makes sense to um, get that done and then update the bundle uh, rather than the other way around. So just overview on how we're going to tackle this we will this is the the github projects old version hopefully it will only that animation is weird um, it shouldn't be uh, thinking that you're going to drag it looks like you're going to drag the whole stack of everything underneath it over but thankfully it doesn't actually function that way um, so we'll take a look at our issue here and I have the previous commit referenced when I did version 3.1, uh, and you can I'll refer to that video in the uh, the notes for this video. The places we're going to change so the Rubocop YAML we're not going to touch, I hope, and the the gem file dot lock we're also not going to touch yet. The generate checksums. Uh, that looks like it was a RuboCop offense autocorrection. We won't likely wind up touching that. Gem spec, we updated the um, the gem spec to update the bundle, so we won't be touching that. And then the shared example, uh, we got rid of a an unnecessary um, item here. Uh, since we're going to be dealing with a bunch of commits kind of um, related to patch releases and stuff like that. I'm going to check out a branch off of master. So see here, we're up to date with origin master. Nothing has happened with it, so we're still good. And then note the Uh, if we do Ruby here, you can see I've got version 3.2 uh, as my current version here in RVM, and it's in the um, that that that's just the default version that I've got here. So um, last year when when we did this, I hadn't 
been working with 3.1 in any of the other projects. So when I went and did 3.1, we actually came into the um, into the directory in version 3.1 and then uh, switched RVM to 3.2. So RVM uh, use 3.2.0. Uh, or I did 3.1.0 back then, um, and default is how you would change that if you're not in the branch that you want. Uh, we are in the branch that we want, so we just run a bundle install here. Everything passed there. Uh, so now that we've got that working we want to run our um this will start with our spec oh we've got some failures Lot of failures. Mostly related to the looks like all the convenience methods. We've got an error there. Wrong number of arguments given three expected one or two. Total dice. Double splat with the options there. If you check back out to Ruby, uh, Ruby 3.1 and see if this is a breaking change in 3.2 that I need to account for here. Use 3.1. RBM list known. Uh, actually, list, just list. All right, so let's RBM use 3.1.3. Install. Our spec spec. So yeah, that looks like it's a breaking change from Ruby 3.1 to Ruby 3.0, oh, Ruby 3.1 to 3.2 that I need to account for. So I'm going to pause and evaluate some of these and see if there's a quick fix for this. Um, otherwise, we'll um, potentially have to create a series of stories to, um, to reconcile this. All right, so it looks like the, and I'm, I haven't run any of these because I, I don't, the convenience methods are the, the main culprits here there is um, we have the convenience methods and then we have the um, the nerd dice spec failures occurring when I use the convenience methods and then we have one failure in total ability scores so let's take a look and see so we've got three examples and one failure in that 
construct. And our failure is on line 20. with options Oops. let's go look at our total ability scores spec so without options with options. So it's that double, I'm calling it with the double splat operator. Let's see what happens if I just take out the double splat operator. Still got a failure. Given one expected zero. expect to receive with method options and call original is it 20 23 is the line where that's failing that back to its status quo all right now let's take a look at what our errors are pick another class here So this one, we have 14 examples, six failures, 29, 34, 39. Twenty nine, thirty four, thirty nine, twenty nine, thirty four.
So our keyword arguments are behaving kind of erratically here. Like I would have expected everything with a keyword argument to fail, but that isn't the case. So like line 49 isn't among our list of failures. See that succeeded. I'm going to just try running 29 in isolation. And that one's failing with arguments three expected one or two. Interesting. I'll try to read up on this and see anything particular in Ruby 3.2 that I missed in the release notes that um, I shouldn't have. So the thought just occurred to me that the problem might not be in my code. So um, it's also possible that our spec is using something that isn't working in Ruby 3.2. So I need to go rake console. Maybe gem console. Bin console. There we go. All right. So let's see what happens if I try to recreate this. So say method method options here. Equals All right, so we've got our method options. Now I find a line twenty nine is failing here. And it hits line thirty one. So we want to do Similar here, magic equals class dot new, and then we want to call Succeeded. That makes me tend to think, seeing as how I never got any deprecation warnings, that the problem might be with our spec. So we're going to deviate from my plan here where I was uh, going to not do anything with the bundle. And It's in the gem file. Yeah, so our spec is in the gem file rather than the um, rather than the gem spec. So we will do a Let's find out what our newest version of our spec is. Go to Ruby 
gems.org rspec 3.12. spec and my tests are passing so you get status the only thing I've changed is the gem file and the gem file dot lock but that um, was a an RSpec bug and not a nerd dice bug that was causing it to not work with Ruby 3.2. So, um, yes, even even when you've got, I, I have, if you look at my gempile.lock, I don't have a lot here, um, but it's possible that like a development dependency or something like that can trip you up. So, um, we will see now if we can get our, I guess make sure that we're still good with RuboCop. We are still good with RuboCop. I will change RuboCop to, uh, I said I was not going to change the RuboCop.yaml, but we will at least change the um, target Ruby version here to be 3.2. Okay, we'll do that later. Now we'll go and take a look at our other actions we did here. So the um, R spec stuff, we add 3.2 to the list, and then in the um, in the RuboCop and the uh, benchmark script, we'll just update those to be 3.2 itself. So go into our main.yaml so this adds 3.2 and then we update this to 3.2 we update this to 3.2 We will run our benchmark times. Make sure that that doesn't. Oh, we 7983. So that was line 263. I'm going to pause and run this a few times and see if it fails out anymore. All right, so there are a couple places where this failed. Um, it was with the 5.5 and the, um, the 79.0 there. I'm going to keep these as is for now just because I want to be able to cherry pick the commit that updates the the github action into the other branches and doing that uh, I feel like it, it 
to save it, to revert it. I feel like because the, the benchmark has changed over versions um, that I will probably just make that a, um, a version by version change or at least make it its own commit in master if I need to bump up those ratios so that we don't wind up um, having it tightly coupled where the the benchmark change is associated directly with the github actions and some of the r spec and some of those other things that are going on there so i think we are good to try uh, building this and pushing it to our branch review our diff here so we've added 3.2 there and there we've updated uh, our spec in our bundle to make it so that our tests pass in Ruby 3.2. Uh, we've run RuboCop. Those are the components of our build. Um, we tested the gem in the console to kind of come up with the, um, to the conclusion that maybe it was our spec and not us. Um, so I think we're good to get add get status I will write a commit message that will um, largely be plagiarized off of the 3.1 version with the difference called out about the R specs thing pause and write my message all right I've got my Now I've got my commit message. And we will push to the branch. build to run I'll pause and let the build finish all right so we've got a failure related to testing with our spec in version 2.7 and this might be the issue where it fixed on 3.2 it um, failed on 2.7 and then let's see here. So these ones doesn't look like they ran. Overall's parallel failed there. some github actions deprecation occurring there let me so i think what i'm going to do here is i'm going to drop 2.7 from my my build here and i will note that in terms of support that i'm when I do that security, like I've got a, an item for the security uh, .md or whatever, I'll start saying that um, whatever, whenever these 
certs expire that we're going to drop support for 2.7. At least, yeah, I'll, I'll no longer, like I'm not gonna support the test for it or anything like that. So uh, we will try this one more time. Get add and then get commit amend, sign it. I'll note in here that I removed 2.7 from the, uh, the list and um, amend the message. All right, I've got my amended commit message here, which I did remember to sign. Yes, I did. We will Since we're using issues here, I think I might pull a request each one of these into master instead of having one branch that's got everything going on here. So we'll just note that the, the branch name is kind of weird in this case. Pause and let the action complete. All right, our build has succeeded. We will open a pull request here. Checks have passed. Branch has no conflicts. Oh, we push and pull request is how we have this set up in GitHub Actions. So we'll, we'll let the actions complete on the pull request that we just did with the, the build and um, make sure the take a look at our issue in the meantime See if our build has now completed. It has, so we'll go out into master, master. Sounds so much better. Obey your main. Get merge. Merge this. Delete the branch. Delete the remote branch. Why did it get? Closed. Oh, because I did that before I. All right. Yeah, that's a problem. but I can restore the branch on the remote. I can reopen the pull request. Let the the build rerun and then 
do I can now get check out I'll do a get fetch here get check out Now we have succeeded, so git checkout master git push this will close the pull request remotely. That is easier than deleting the branch via the command line. I like that. That's a recent GitHub feature that you can just click to delete the, the branch after you merge. All right, so that is done. Hopefully our master build passes here. Our issue. with comment which let's see if our classic backlog is smart enough to pick up on this nerddice.com uses the new um, project and looks like I might have to move it to done on my own here so that and the master build built and our issue is resolved and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching this stateless codecast be sure to like comment subscribe and spread the word you can follow us on social media at stateless code until next time keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.